snowflake, um, much like this one here. I'm going to have a ring, and you can put anything you want in the middle here as long as it's flattened to the same height. And um, it's going to look pretty much like this, and you can hang it like an ornament. Um, this is an original by Justin Ames uh, tutorial put out in 2015. Uh, I modified it specifically so we can put objects in the middle. Um, So what we're going to do is we're going to um, start by bringing in a cylinder, bringing it to the center here. And what we're going to do is, notice how when you size things, it gets all wonky. So undo that. When you resize something, you hold shift, it's going to keep it nice and even. And what I want to do is to go four of these bigger blocks by four of those big blocks. So, you know, I'm going to pull, oh, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to pull it. All right, and I'm going to look down from the top here and kind of say, well, is that 4x4 four four yet? No. I'm going to pull on this block, holding shift while I'm doing it, so that it's nice and even. Um, looks like it can come this way a little bit more, and so forth. It doesn't have to be exactly 4x4, four four, but, you know, you get the idea. So, like there. That looks like it's pretty much in there. All right. And then what you're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to hollow it out like the center. This is all hollowed out. And to do that, we're going to make a copy of this. And to do that, you can press this duplicate button over here. Or look, it says Control D. So either way, Control D for duplicate. And you won't see it because it's, well, it's right on top of one another. But if you pull up on it like this, oh yeah, there it is, right? You can kind of see it now. And we're going to shrink it down a little bit to make the hole, right? And it, so this can be like a cookie cutter. So if you hold shift, I'm going to shrink it down probably to 34, um, you know, or something like that. So it looks kind of like that, all right? We need to align it to the center. So we're going to shift one. Uh, we're going to, sorry, we're going to click on one, sh shift click the other, and choose align. And you see these little dots right here and here? Then we're going to click that one first. Um, nope. Undo. I clicked the wrong one. I'm going to try that again. So you're going to shift, uh, click one, shift click the other. And we're going to choose a line. And notice these little black things down here. We're going to click this one here. It's going to line it this way. Click this one here and it lines it that way. Um, and that's kind of what we want. And so there's this feature. Um, well, before I explain that feature, let's make it taller. See how it like it's the same height? Well, to make it taller, we're going to grab this box and make it taller. Okay? And what that's going to do is allow it to kind of cut all the way through. See that? We're going to cut it all the way through because we want to make sure that the hole makes it all the way through. And the feature I'm about to explain to you is this. If you pl click this shape here and you click this button here, which is hole, it does exactly that. It just creates a void in the middle. Now, it doesn't quite do it yet. It's kind of like saying, okay, this is what you're going to do with it, right? And to confirm that that's what you want, is you're going to um, um, sh uh, click once, shift click the other, and group them together. And there is the actual hole. Right? So you're just kind of carving out sort of like a cookie cutter. All right, and then, well, you know, the snowflake is flat, right? So we're going to have to bring this down, shrink it down. And I'm going to recommend two uh, centimeters for now. Um, that's going to kind of get us going. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out uh, a box. And we're going to shrink it down to two as well. And the width of it, we'll do also two. So we have a two by two. Uh, let's put it in the middle here, and if we scroll in, we're going to put it right up there on that line, right up there on that center line there, um, and straddle this line here. See that? All right. 
uh, and then we're going to make it longer. So how, how long to be exact? So keep it at two wide. Uh, let's go 50. Let's go 60. All right, so actually I did that at 59 instead of 60. There we go. 2 by 2 by 60. All right, so now you have this kind of long trunk or stem. Um, and if you notice on these, you have one, you have these little pieces here. Well, we're only going to make need to make two more, and the rest is all going to be copy-paste. So we're going to make this one and this one here. And to do that, well, I like copy-paste, so why don't we do that here, So or duplicate. So um, I'm going to duplicate this, this here trunk, you know, keep it on this line here in the bottom here and we're just going to shrink it down shrink it down shrink it down to 2 by 2 by 15 if you want or 20 let's call it let's call it 19 or 20 uh, and duplicate that one um, whoops it got smaller uh, whoop, ah, undo that <laughs> um, let's move it let's move it you can move it, by the way, by using your keys. Okay. Move it with your keys. Um, and scrolling in helps, too. It allows you to see it better. All right. And going to 2 by 2 by 10. All right. All right. And now we need to kind of, like, turn them, you know, at a 45-degree angle. And to do that, we're going to select it, and if you kind of got to get in there a little bit, so I'll scroll in a little bit. Um, see this little kind of arrow that's bent? Well, that allows you to turn it. So if we want 45, there we go. And instead of just dragging it over, we can actually use your arrow keys. That kind of makes it nice. And we're going to put it in place sort of like this, right? But notice... And we don't want this to happen because then it'll be kind of, when we go to print it out, it'll be kind of weird. So, see this uh, edge sticking out here? Oh, well, we got to just align that edge. Um, and to do that, um, you're going to select one, shift select the other, click the align tool, and choose this button right here. And now these two are aligned. So, we're going to move this one. Or, I'm sorry, we're going to rotate it first, 45 degrees. We're going to use our arrow keys as well to kind of do the same thing. Kind of get it in a good spot, you know. And, again, this one needs to be aligned. They all should be. Everything you put together should align. You should be aligned for, just to make sure. So, you click one, shift click the other, click align. And then this button right, this dot right here. Um, ooh, that unaligned this one. That's interesting. I think it's the sequence that you do it. So if you click one, two, then click align, it's going to go to the second one that you click. So that means that this moved to that one. So keep that in mind. Double check, you know, every once in a while. Don't worry, we can move this whole thing later. Um, so at least these are aligned nicely. So what about the other side? Well, there's a cool trick I'm going to show you, which is um, you just select the uh, one you want, and we're going to go to this here. It's called Mirror. Uh, but, oh, I'm sorry. we got to duplicate first. So duplicate, Mirror, choose your direction, and then use your keypad to move it over. So you duplicate it, mirror it, use your keypad. Um, do we need to align it? does look like it needs a little bit. Mm, no, we can probably leave that. All right, so this one here, we're going to uh, duplicate as well. We're going to mirror it in this direction, and we're going to use our keypad, our arrow keys, to move them in place. If you're unsure of the alignment, make sure you um, click one, select the other, 
choose a line and choose this dot right here and that will make sure that this corner stops right there. All right, now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna uh, select all of these. So you're gonna hold shift down and select all of these pieces and we're gonna group them together. All right, now we're gonna duplicate this as well. And we're going to choose duplicate and then mirror and use the keypad, the arrow keys, to drag it over. Now we select each one of these and group it together. Now that this is one item and this is another item, we're going to uh, kind of align them as well. So we're going to shift click uh, each one of these pieces. We're going to choose align and we're going to make sure it's aligned center this way and this way. All right, now we're going to select this um, one branch and we're going to duplicate it. All right, and rotate it. Wrong, wrong one. Let's get on the right one here. There we go. We're going to rotate it 45 degrees. And what's cool about this program is that if you hit duplicate again, it remembers duplicate and repeat so you can do that as many times as you need to fulfill the entire snowflake circle in my planning I uh, neglected to make this big enough I realized that for this particular project I want you guys to have stuff in the center of this circle so we're gonna make this a little bigger basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold shift grab onto the side here and grab onto this side here and that sh looks pretty darn center. Um, and I used uh, basically one one more block bigger. Um, I could probably go a little bit bigger than that. So I'll go like this. So like that. All right. And because we're going to use this center, you guys are going to put custom uh, images in there. So I wanted to make it a little bigger. All right. So keep that in mind. So let's do that now. We're going to cut out this center so you can put other objects in here. And to do that, um, what we're going to do is get a, um, a cylinder, another cylinder. I'm going to put it in the middle there. Um, let's make it big enough, or bigger, I should say. Sort of like this. All right, that looks like it fills the hole, but to be sure, what we're going to do is we're going to shift select the other one, and we're going to choose align. We're going to make sure it aligns this way. Make sure it aligns um, in two directions here. So it looks like they are because they're grayed out. So we're fine. Uh, and then what you're going to do is um, select all of it. So we're going to select all of it. Um, oh, I'm sorry. My, my apologies. First, we're going to select the middle one. And we're going to, right here, we're going to choose it to be a hole. And in order for the hole to take place, you have to select all of it and then group it. Now we have a centered hole item. And it looks like... There's, these things are sticking out a little bit, meaning I didn't quite have that um, to be big enough. So I could undo, undo, select this middle one again, make it bigger. And I 
think somewhere along the line I didn't hold shift, so it's not even. But we want to try to get it in the middle there. And align it again by holding shift, select the other one. Align this way and this way. Now, I'm going to unselect. Select the middle one. Make it a hole. Select everything and group it. And now, what I'd like you to do is find another torus, or, and you need to add it on the top here for a place to string, string it up. So I'm going to make sure this is also two um, height, and we want to push it in there enough so that it stays attached, right? Because we're going to hang this up, we want it to be strong, so make sure that it's in there nicely. Again, we can shift select, select, shift select. Oops, let me try that again. Select, shift select. Come on now. And group it like so. Lastly, I'm going to have you do is find an object, a character even, uh, or a letter, right? So, and you can find some online or maybe something you've made before. Um, so, but I'm going to start with just a basic letter. I'm going to take this letter here. No, not A. I don't want to do that. Um, I want to put in a, uh, let's delete that one. I want to put an M for Murphy. Here we go. And I'm going to rotate it around to 90 degrees. I'm going to resize it to fit the circle, All right, making sure that you have adequate contact inside this material, or when we print it, it's not going to come out nice. Make sure that the bottom is, is aligned, and the top, I would recommend bringing it to the same height of 2. So in this case, I have um, the M nicely gripped in there so that when I print it, it should hold. Um, and so let's just double check the alignment. So I'm going to shift select both of these. Let's see, select, shift select. I'm going to align it uh, to the bottom, which is done, yeah. So that one, because it was grayed out. And last but not least, I'm going to group this all together. And there's my snowflake ready for printing. When you're done to, to um, um, have it printed, I need you to send me a certain file. So we're going to go to export and I want you to choose STL and certainly put it in, uh, call it, put your name on it. So I'll put Murphy Snowflake and it's an STL file and that is you're going to turn in to me. Thank you.